the very first thing you want to do is to spawn a torch block. It will act like a switch. Step out means off and step in means on. That's just how simple the input section is. The next one are the output blocks. There are three options, but the first one I want to show is the light block. Now in these blocks, there are input and output IDs. It works simple like this. Just imagine a wire that you can name from both sides to specify where you connect the wire to. That's where the output ID and the input ID goes to. Now just look at me naming the output ID from the touch block as KDZO for instance. Then the input ID of the light block to KDZO too. And when I go in the touch blocks, the light block will be on. Now the exact same thing can be done with the other blocks like the sound block. In this block, you can also customize the sound volume and put in the sound ID you want. And make sure to connect it to the touch block. Then last one is the damage block. This one will damage anything that stands inside it. Make sure to connect it and set the damage. And if you stand in the touch block, it will gradually damage the dummy or whatever stand inside. Coming to the next one, our logic box. The first one I want to show you guys here is the end gate. To use it, you gotta connect to touch block to an end gate. And from that end gate, you connect it to the output. It will look like this. And if you look at me going in one touch block, it's not going to work. And the light block is not gonna be on. But when there's two people in it, in each of the block, the light block will be on. That means that's the end gate. Next one is the not gate. For this one, you only need one touch block to connect to it, then connect to the output. The not gate, as the name said, will do the opposite of what the touch block should do. So if you're not in the touch block, it will activate the light, but if you're in the touch block, it will not activate the light. Next one is the timer. This one is pretty easy. So you just connect it like the other two, and then you can set a delay. So whenever you step in the touch block, there will be a delay before it sends the signal for the light to be on. And whenever you step out, there will be a delay for it to turn off too. So that's pretty cool. Alright, if you want to make this thing from the beginning, you gotta know how to make a loop. And this part is probably the most nerdy part of this video. Though this video is already very nerdy. First thing you want to connect a touch block to a timer and set the timer. That time will be the amount of time the loop will happen. Then you connect the timer to a not gate, right? The next thing you need to do is to connect the not gate back to the touch block. It will look basically like this. Now if you connect an output block, for instance, this is a light block to this loop machine, connect it to the touch block you'll get a loop. Let's go! So yeah, I tried to make this video as short as possible so that you guys can understand easily. So, please subscribe. Now, thanks for watching. Goodbye.